Hi Capricorn, how are you? This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. My name is Diana, Intuitive D1111. Welcome. I have been sick. That's why I've not been on here as much. But let's go ahead and get into your reading. So this is a living uh, Reiki healing card. It says, Real Joy. There is no more joyful place in the world than exactly where you are right now because you cannot experience real joy when your mind is elsewhere. Thinking of what has happened in the past or what might happen in the future. We have door to value. And then we have the second chakra with Archangel Ariel here. So this is all talking about um, you guys embracing the present moment and letting go of, you know, any, um, any worrisome thoughts, especially in regards to your career. I would say with Mercury going retrograde in your sixth house, um, which is your Virgo placement, which is all about working your day to day, I would say that you might feel, um, you know, confined within your everyday work. So this is just a reminder if you're feeling, you know, overburdened, you know, sometimes you just have to tell people no, right? Or you have to let them know you're already committed to A, B, C, D, and E, or you need to delegate. Um, this is about you guys, you know, having strict boundaries around your self-worth, who you are. Also making sure your throat chakra and your, um, your sacral chakra are healed because when they're not healed, then unfortunately what can happen is, you know, there's a lack of motivation, lack of creativity, lack of follow through, as well as, um, you know, holding on to guilt and shame and, um, you know, or mistaking lust for love. That's what happens when your sacral chakra is blocked. Um, so those are all things, you know, that, you can work on, but you have a lot of abundance coming in. You just need to, um, you know, stay balanced, stay focused and watch your communication within your work setting. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into love messages from your person. I already have these, um, pulled for you guys. The first card is of how your person is feeling towards your situation. It says escapism. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. So you could be dealing with someone that has addictions, right? Or someone that, you know, they can't face, you know, losing you. We have divine timing here. So this is a connection where you guys have probably had to have time apart, um, you know, because there was still growing you both needed to do. We have missing you. I never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. So this person is longing for you, longing for your energy. We have forever change, and I rarely see this card. Um, it says, you changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. So you have really just changed, some, changed somebody's world. Capricorn, what are you out here doing in these streets? <laughs> or work. Some of you guys met this person at work. Um and then overall energy here we have is solitude. It says, I'm taking a break from everyone and spending time alone. So you're connected with someone that is, um, they're, you know, they're in hermit mode. They're trying to get their internal world together and figure out their direction in life. And for some of you, they really are having a hard time dealing with you guys, you know, being separated. So let's go ahead and clarify with the tarot cards here. So for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the escapism card here? Show me the cards that I need to see, please. Also, if you guys want a personal reading, I believe they're like 20% off in my new Etsy shop. I have a link down below for you guys, okay? All right, so let's clarify the escapism card. What's going on there for your love interest's feelings towards you? <sighs> Queen of Swords, woof. Who'd you have to cut off? Look, they're reflecting with the hangman. They have to gain another perspective. Could be dealing with the Pisces um, or, you know, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But yeah, I feel this person is, you know, they're missing you, missing your energy. I feel like you guys could have had a falling out or you had a disagreement. And now this person is stuck on how they can come back. Look at he's, look at how he's admiring her. I feel this person admires you generally, right? Not even just physique, but just who you are, right? So let's go ahead and clarify divine timing and missing you for the Capricorns watching this video. Oh, the tower. Yeah, they're missing. <laughs> they're definitely missing you, all right, because the tower card, it looks like it all came crumbling down. You guys had a breakup. Some of you in the past could have been dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus Libra um, with the justice card here. 
yeah, this person wants to make things right with you with the justice card. You know, they could have faced karma for how they treated you. Um, they see you as the empress or the emperor. Take it for how it resonates with your situation. But they feel like they had, you know, they had everything with you. They could have had, right? And I feel like with the tower card here, someone else could have been involved or for whatever reason, you know, you guys, you know, the situation, you had a breakup, right? With the tower card. Um, someone could have unexpectedly got it pregnant in the situation as well, too. Um, so, you know, keep that as a forewarning, right? Because time is fluid. But overall, I feel this person is missing you because they're realizing that you are the person they want to grow with. The Empress is about growth and expansion, be it in business or in love. The Empress is the person that um, is the, you know, the counterpart to the Emperor, right? That helps with... with um, supporting the emperor run the empire but she's also you know she also is um a leader of her own right right so okay capricorn <laughs> so this person is forever changed let's see what you did what did you do capricorn to this person oh you showed them love okay with the king of cups yeah, this person, and I feel this person is normally not even open with their feelings at all, but I feel with this, I feel you make this person want to be in touch with their feelings with the King of Cups here. Um, I feel they went into this connection not really knowing what to expect, and they could feel like you're out of their level with the Empress card being right here, but I feel like this person, um, yeah, they, they are just, they're changed by the love that you've shown them, right? Ace of Wands. And uh, they're definitely attracted to you <laughs> with the Ace of Wands. And she is pregnant on this card, too. So definitely I'm trying to tell some of you guys, you know, be on alert for that. Um, yeah, it's like they want a new start. And they could have acted like, oh, they, you know, the, like they weren't interested or they were busy with something else. Or they could have taken your love for granted, right, with the Four of Cups here. But in reality, what they really want is a new start. And for some of you guys, you have a brand new person coming in could be a water or a fire sign so that is what i have for you capricorn if you enjoyed this reading um definitely do me a favor hit the like button as well as subscribe it'll help my small channel to grow and also subscribe and comment because i'm going to do um, another giveaway again this month which i'm excited about all right love you guys bye